Hi everyone, this is Shane Armand Rowe, and today we are going to get Marble Madness 2 installed and running on your Steam Deck. This game has been highly coveted, it's been hidden away by private collectors for decades. We finally can play this game now using a special build of MAME. Let's get to it. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you need to do is download the file pack. I've done all the heavy work for you. I've made some custom art. I've included the custom version of MAME, the ROM file, everything you need. tinyurl.com slash mm2deck is the URL you're looking, and this is hosted up at Mega, so you'll need to download it from there. Make sure you got the right file name. Hit download. We'll speed this up a bit. It's not too big, but you don't want to sit and watch a progress bar. Save it to your downloads folder. And once we're all done, we can go ahead and get rid of our browser window and go into the Dolphin file browser, where we have downloads on one side and we have a destination on the other side, which happens to be my micro SD card. Right click the file and hit extract files here. You'll get a folder that says Marble Madness 2. Go ahead and copy that over. This again is my SD card here. And the High Seas folder, we're going to go ahead and copy that folder and paste it over to its final destination. There's no installation to do, so you want to put it in its final location. Okay, now we're going to copy the path to the Marble Madness 2 folder. We're going to use this several different times, so let's go ahead and copy it to our clipboard. Okay, let's go ahead and open up Steam and we're going to add it as a non-Steam game. Hit Browse. And we're going to Control V that path right into the file name there and hit Open. That's going to take us right to that folder. Change it from Applications to All Files and find MAME.exe. Add Selected Program and you should see it appear in your library. Okay, a couple things we can do right away is set the background graphics here. Let's go ahead and set this custom banner. Again, I'm going to paste that folder in there. You're going to look for an underscore Steam Art folder. Change it to All Files or JPEGs and select Banner. Perfect. Now we'll go ahead and set the custom logo to the box shot that I've included. Easy peasy. Now we'll go ahead and jump into Properties. And let's set the icon while we're here. We're going to use the box shot for the icon as well. Of course, if you want to go and make your own artwork, you can replace it. I wanted to have something in the folder to help you out. And we're going to force some level of Proton compatibility. I'm using 7-17. All right. Now, we could change the name from MAME.exe, but I forgot to do that when I recorded the video. So we're going to go ahead and do a first run of it and make sure it actually comes up. And there's also an ulterior mode if we want it to become our last run game. Okay, we have a special version of MAME. Marble Madness 2 ROM shows up. And perfect. Go ahead and exit out. All right, now that this game is our most recently played game, we have access to one of the box arts that is a little bit hard to get to, the cover art. So we're going to go ahead and set this to the banner as well. Sweet. All right, great. Now we're in pretty good shape. While we're here, let's go ahead and change the launch parameters. We're going to add Marble MD2, as you see on the screen. That's going to force the game to launch straight into Marble Madness versus actually going to MAME and then you have to click the ROM. There's only one ROM file in here and it, we might as well have it default. Boom, there she is. She plays great. Hopefully you have a keyboard attached or you can hit the escape button. We're going to go ahead and hit escape to exit out of here. Perfect. Now, before we move over to the gaming side, there's one more thing we want to do. There's one more piece of box art that we can't set. We're going to go ahead and run another game so that it becomes the most recently played game. You can do whatever game you want. I'm just happy to do Overwatch here. This is going to change Marble Madness 2 from being the most recently run game. And that's going to give us access to its box art. There's probably an easier way to do this, but this is how I always do it. Feel free to leave a comment if there's a quicker way. Now you can go back to your library and you'll see that now that it's no longer the most recent game, it gives you a different piece of artwork to change. We're going to go ahead and add our box art to this as well. 
Now we're talking. Now this is now we're in good shape. We've changed all the different uh, pieces of artwork that we might want. Now let's flip over to the gaming side and do some controller configurations. All right, I spared you the reboot. So let's go ahead and jump over to Marble Madden, uh, Marble Man or Marble Madness 2. And we're going to go ahead and hit the controller. Make sure that you have the enable back grips turned on. And we're going to set the escape key to R4. That way we can easily escape the emulator. Okay, set to the escape key. Sweet. There's a couple other things we need to set. We'll go to edit layout. Make sure you're on buttons. And we're going to scroll down to the bottom. And for the menu button, uh, or the select button in this case, we're going to call it number five. And for the menu button or start button, we're going to set it to A. We could have just used the A button, but for MAME, usually people have start and select as a coin up and start. Okay. We're looking pretty good here. I think we're all ready to give this guy a proper, proper playthrough. So we're going to launch the game. We've launched right to the uh, title screen. Perfect. So now we can use the menu button or the select button for regular controllers to add some coins. And you can press start or press the A button to actually start the game. The analog stick works great. This is the sort of game that needs an analog stick. All right, so if you've never played Marble Madness before, uh, the idea is to get your marble from the start to the goal. And if you have played Marble Madness, you'll obviously see there's a lot more stuff going on and it gets more crazy as the game progresses. You can't fall off the edges or you lose time, you're on a time limit. You can, um, your marble can get dizzy and you'll have to sort of stabilize them before you can continue to control them. There's all sorts of good stuff going on in here. But this was really sort of meant to be a multiplayer game as you can see why it's begging you to put more players in here. Okay, so now there's another level. As you can see, things have gotten a little bit more. There's some flags to hit. There's more obstacles, there's more danger. Just like you would expect from a quarter guzzling arcade game, we don't want you playing for too long. So we'll let you play a couple of easy levels and then we'll make it, uh, make it rough on you. But this is great. This game has been locked away in private collections for decades. It's great that we finally have an opportunity to play it. Super old game, never seen before by normal mortals. Now not only can you play it, but you can play it on your Steam Deck. And that, obviously, you can see I'm not doing as well as I could be. And I'm, I'm a sucker for the flags. They know what they're doing. And I fell off and died. And this is, um, oh, the 3D got me a little bit there. I just got spanked. So now when you're confused, you don't control very well. Ah, can't control for, to save my life, apparently. All right, whoops. Uh, whatever. All right, let's get this done. Matt, almost out of time. Hit the goal. All right. Now listen, I could sit here and play this thing all day long, but uh, we've probably had enough fun. Listen, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You guys know the YouTube bit. Thanks so much for watching. I always appreciate you guys commenting and leaving uh, positive reviews here. I'm Shane Armonroe, and as always, thanks so much for watching and take care.